flows, one who is capable of being alone can love. Love is a spiritual phenomenon, lust is physical, ego is psychological. Love is spiritual. Love evolves out of symphony between inner instruments of body, emotions and energy. When played between the ascending and descending notes, love becomes melody in life. Love evolves out of symphony between inner instruments of body, mind, body, emotions and energy. When played between ascending and descending notes, love becomes melody in life. Prem, Sharir, Bhavna or Urjas ke milan se utpann hone wala antar sangeet ki prati dhvani hai. Love is the echo of the inner music created with the union of body, emotions and energy. Love is the echo of inner music emerging out of the union of body, emotions and energy. This symphony is the secret of love. One who is capable of being alone is capable of love. Being alone, cherishing aloneness is the flavor of meditation. Once you learn the art of cherishing aloneness, you are ready to share love. Capable of going into the deepest core of the other person without possessing the other, without becoming dependent on the other. Possessing and dependent are two aspects. Without reducing the other to a thing and without becoming addicted to the other. Such a person allows the other absolute freedom because they know that if other leaves they will be as happy as they are now but such has not been your experience the presence or absence does not make you happy or unhappy his happiness is inner flowering that which has blossomed from within cannot be taken away by anyone, by the other, because it is not given by the other. My happiness, my bliss is not given by you or anything. In my company, you can experience the same bliss that is overflowing in me and one day, this inner bliss that is overflowing out of me can become part of you. An alive and loving person simply loves. Love is a natural function. So remember not to ask for perfection. Otherwise you will not find any love flowing in you. On the contrary, you will become unloving. Perhaps who demand perfection are very unloving person, neurotic. Even if they can find a lover, they demand perfection and love is destroyed because of that demand. Once a man loves a woman or a woman loves a man, demands immediately enter 
the woman starts demanding that man should be perfect just because he loves her and if she has committed us as if she has committed a sin now he has to be perfect now he has to drop all limitations suddenly just because of this woman or this man now he cannot be human either he has to become a superhuman or he has to become phony false a cheat naturally to become superhuman is very difficult so people start pretending they start pretending and act and acting and playing games in the name of love people are playing really games so the second thing to remember is never to demand perfection you have no right to demand anything from anybody if somebody loves you be thankful but do not demand anything like perfection or anything because the other has no obligation to love you if somebody loves it is a miracle be thrilled by this miracle become individual that is the first thing love makes you individual for love to evolve out of narrow boundaries never expect perfection or demand perfection love ordinary people nothing is wrong with ordinary people ordinary people are extraordinary anything that is ordinary is extraordinary each human being is so unique therefore have respect for that uniqueness in that person love knows giving sharing without any condition only then you will know what love is really i cannot define it i can certainly show you the path to grow it for love to grow into you and that is what my effort is to allow the love to grow into you like a magnet i allow you to be rubbed with the magneticness magnetic quality that i am i can show you how to put in a rose bush how to water it how to give fertilizer to it how to protect it from unnecessary things then one day out of the blue comes the rose and your home is full of fragrance that is how love grows and if you have loved a man or a woman you will want to give the other as much freedom as possible you would want to give him or her as much freedom as possible if love cannot get if love cannot give freedom then it is not love you are calling something else as love you have to remember that freedom is the highest value if love is not giving you freedom then it is not worth love freedom is the criteria for love if you can remember this small criteria your life slowly and slowly will start settling on the right path about everything your relationships your meditations 
your creativity, whatsoever you are, it will have new wings to float in the sky. Nobody loves anything more than freedom. Even love is secondary to freedom. If love comes with freedom, it is a beauty. When freedom is the highest value, love can be sacrificed for freedom. But freedom cannot be sacrificed for love. Freedom cannot be sacrificed for love. Love can be sacrificed for freedom. Remember, when love is served on the platter of freedom, when love is served on the platter of freedom, there can be and is no greater blessing than that. Remember, always, when love is served on the platter of freedom, there can be and there is no greater blessing than that. Serve your love on the platter of freedom. Forget all your conditionings, fears, etc. Try to serve your love on the platter of freedom. Life will attain a new meaning. Enough now.